Right, so we've got one of these new catapults sent. It's an inexpensive one. I've never shot it before. It's got lasers on it. So what we're gonna do with that, I'm gonna put this on, put some bands on it, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna go from shooting a box and zooming in on your sights to eventually, all today, while it's sunny, while it's the weekend, We'll hit a penny with it and we'll blow a candle out with it. Right, we've got our set up there. We've got the new frame. So we're just gonna make sure our stands are right. So feet are nice wide, width apart. Straight elbow. I want some consistency on this spinner. <laughs> so we get on. If you stick with the video, I'll show you how I fine tuned this frame in, and there's a bit more information on how you can do that. But you're going to have to stick with the video. That didn't really take long at all to start dialing that in pretty much there with it so i'm going to bring my targets down see if we can do a few little pennies we'll chuck a penny up see how we get on with that see if we can hit it and i'll set a slow motion camera up yes son say hello 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 no what's that trick we know what's that surprise you got for him oh <laughs> nah, nah. Lucky penny. Let's try a candle, shall we? See if we can blow one out. It's a bit breezy here, so if it stays alight, we'll be all right. I'll try and, try and box it in a bit. What about a card cut? So that's going to be an easy target, hitting it that way. But the ultimate challenge is to see if we can split this card. But you can't see much of it once it's on that angle. Split it with an 8mm steel. That'll be a challenge, won't it? Well, I'm up for challenges. Oh! 
Ain't got much of a target to aim at. But it's not bad going, is it? Ace in the hands worth two in the bush. Good little frame, it's a good little frame, it's cheap. So another little feature that this has got is a laser. So we'll have to see how accurate this is. The sights are set how I want them. I know that they're bang on. We'll see how accurate that laser is. We'll go outside, I've chucked the coat on because it's cold outside. Hot the coat. Oh this may look expensive. Rest assured, 15 quid. Bargain. to start with we'll be getting our aim in with this and we'll bring our aim from where however wild it's going to be to pinpoint accuracy I want to show you how to do that so stick with me right with these pins with this catapult this frame it's simply a matter of pushing the clip in dropping in your bands level tightening up same with this side It's 
as simple as that. We have an aim in sight, which is this, a nice spirit level on it. We'll put that in. And that should give us a target, something to, as a reference point. We're gonna aim down the sight, put that target on the target, and eventually tune this catapult in. Once we've got some accuracy, we'll start going small. Right, what you're gonna need, what you're gonna need first, for you to get any sort of accuracy, is a bit of a box or a bit of cardboard like this. What we're going to do is put a little small target on it. First shot. So I know that was low. So I want to shorten this a little bit, push this down this target a little bit, and then we'll go again. just about the right height but it was over to the right so what I'm going to do now is because that was over to the right I want to bring that further into my cheek I'm not going to move my frame I'm just going to move this and we'll adjust it further in closer I think that hit the black I'll have a look on the other camera in a minute so it's going to take a lot of dialing in And see that's just going slightly low but because I've fetched that close to my face there that's where the anchor point's going to be on this frame for me but now that target is more or less perfect so it's just slightly low so I'm going to bring it down a tiny bit more and try that That was my own fault. One minute, don't go down past here. I'm going to go and have a look at them. Right, I'm slightly low on a couple of the shots, so I'm going to bring that up, and hopefully that should correct. Uh, bring it down, sorry, a bit more. And it should correct itself. Obviously, the further back you target, the more you're going to have to adjust this. So that was that. That was a bit of an easy way of tuning in with a strange catapult. If you're interested in one of them catapults, I'll put a link underneath um, where you can pick one up. Or on a website of mine. On that website, there's going to be a frame that I'm having designed. Um, should be coming out this year at some point. So look forward to the release of that. Uh, there's other stuff on there you can buy on there. So yeah, have a look on there. But if you want one of them frames, it's not a lot of money. And it's on there. So, no problem. Thanks for watching. I know you're interested in this coat, aren't you? These ain't on there. You don't get coats like this on there. 15 quid. Oh, hey. oh.